G'day and welcome to The Division. I am Destonic and today I'm going to show you my Sentry Call build. Uh, before we get into it, let's see what the build does for us. Alright, so set bonus 2 gives us 30% uh, more accuracy. Uh, set bonus 3 gives us 10% more headshot damage. Uh, set bonus 4, uh, looking at this, landing a headshot with semi-auto weapons will target Sorry, we'll mark the target increasing damage by 5% per mark for 30 seconds duration. Um, this caps at 3 marks, so 15% more damage uh, they'll receive. Uh, set bonus 5. Oop. Calm down. <laughs> uh, will give us 15% more accuracy and 15% more headshot damage. So that's... 40% uh, more accuracy overall and 25 more headshot damage overall. Uh, set bonus 6. Uh, number of marks uh, caps at 6. So that's 30% more damage for you and your squad to be dealing. Uh, after one mark it has a 50% chance to spread to nearby units. And at 6 marks uh, headshot damage is increased by 100%. So to maximise on damage, I've made this uh, purely a glass cannon, full firearms only build. Um, let's go over the stats now. So for the body armour, I've got enemy armour damage uh, to further increase what I'm hitting for. And health to stay in the fight a bit longer, take a few more hits. As for the mods, uh, I've got two 12 uh, firearms mods. Uh, with plus 4 damage to elites. Uh, these are on all my gear pieces, so that's 20% more damage to elites. Um, just from the mods, the rest will be rolled onto the gear pieces. Uh, the mask, we've got enemy armor damage and damage to elites again. Uh, the knee pads, uh, health and damage to elites. As for resistances, I managed to get burn and disrupt. Uh, the backpack, um, I have stability. Uh, this is just my personal preference to help manage recoil. Otherwise, you could roll it off for more health if you're feeling too squishy, or you can go for crit damage. Uh, the minor attribute I've got is uh, burn resist instead of ammo capacity purely because I would like to shoot more than burn alive but yeah each to their own on that one uh, as for the gloves I managed to get both marksman and assault rifle damage and also enemy armor damage so regardless with whether I've got my primary or secondary I'll still get a damage bonus for using them um, as for the holster I have health rolled onto it Again, this is just my preference. Um, you can choose reload speed or crit it chance. Um, this one's really up to you, or you could even have uh, skill haste. Um, as for the performance mods, I've got uh, first aid self heal on everything. Uh, let's have a look at the weapons now. Uh, yeah. With the, I've got the M700 Carbon and the Urban MDR. Uh, with the Urban, I've got Brutal and Accurate. Uh, making the most of headshot damage. And because I, I feel like with firing quite rapidly, it just helps with the reticle bloom. Um, if you've got 3800 Stamina, you could probably roll off Accurate and put Destructive for more enemy armor damage. Otherwise, another good option if you're still running full firearms is to have prepared for more damage if the enemy is past 30 meters. As for weapon mods, let's have a look here. I've got uh, headshot damage on the muzzle, uh, headshot damage on the scope. I've opted for stability on the angled with the angled grip, and I've got a max size uh, magazine and on all these pieces I've done my best to try and get credit chance credit damage on everything uh, going back to the urban it also has distracted 
Um, this is where most of your damage will be uh, activating as well uh, whenever you're on a fight. Um, this will, uh, with the status effects, um, the extra 18% damage, this is where you use a, like a stun grenade or flashbang. Uh, you can burn or uh, have them shocked, like any sort of st status effect affecting enemy N NPCs um, will activate this talent. Uh, with the M700 Carbon, again I'm running Brutal and Prepared. I uh, prefer using this for long range battles. Uh, the third talent is Elevated. 10% uh, more damage when I'm more than a meter above the target. This is also helpful. Um, if you... Another great option um, I did see was instead of Brutal, you can go uh, balanced if you prefer uh, sniping over the shoulder instead of aiming down the sight. Um, with this, uh, the reticle bloom snaps to the smallest possible size straight away and even after firing um, a bullet. Uh, with the small arms, I have three options. So the one I run with is a 203 PX4 Storm and with this being a lower gear score item it's got lower stat requirements to enable predatory so I can finish off an enemy and this will give me health uh, regeneration for 20 seconds uh, another option is a 286 uh, first wave X45 I feel this handles pretty well for spamming bullets um, and you run brutal on it for even more damage after a couple of marks you start seeing six digit figures um, and the third option is a 228 px4 storm with cool headed so every time you land a headshot five percent of your cooldown wait time is taken off your skills um, as for abilities let's have a look here so first and foremost I've got the first aid with booster shot uh, when activated this gives me 15% all weapon damage um, plus a bit of health the second skill I use is the flashbang uh, sticky bomb uh, mod uh, it's great for stun locking groups of enemies or making suppressed ones uh, stand up out of cover skill procs the distracted talent on the urban for the 18 extra, um, extra percent damage as for talents, these are purely uh, based on uh, my playstyle and the mission. I like running Tactical Advance. Um, if I can, if there's an option for me to run cover to cover, I'll use it to give myself more damage. Um, on the move, if I'm going from one part of a mission to another and getting jumped by enemies, you might have to fight where you are. So. I always try and move around while I'm shooting and if I can get the kill I get 15% less uh, damage received. Um, stopping power, I feel like this only works with snipers, um, if you're getting a few quick shots off of the urban you might be able to suppress them and this will proc your headshot damage by 25% for 10 seconds. If not using this, I'll usually run Precision, uh, headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds. Um, I'm pretty sure this is based on my base pulse stats, which is about 10% uh, credit chance, credit damage. If I'm running in a group, I'll take this off and put stopping power back on, as I'll have a reclaimer or a tactician, and they can usually give off 40 to 50% credit chance, credit damage. Uh, the last one is one is none, um, purely because this is based on hitting the enemy in the head and getting free hits is always nice. Um, now let's finish up with the character stats. So yeah, crit chance and crit damage, and this is still with the urban equipped, um, is quite low. Actually, is it? Hang on, let's have a look. Now it is. Oh, apologies. 
yeah, it is still uh, quite low. So getting like another 30, 40 or even 50% on top of these while uh, someone's running a decent electronics based pulse um, is great. I've got 168 uh, headshot damage, 70% accuracy, 33% stability. Um, when you pop your booster shot, 15% uh, will appear here. I've got 48% damage to elites and this is without the ferocious talent and I've got 46% enemy armor damage. Um, so yeah, if you, yeah, let, let us know what you think and I hope this build, this uh, video helps. Cheers.